today we're doing something a little different. Instead of yard work, we're doing automotive work. So today I switched out the idle pulley, replaced my air filters, the cabin and the vehicle. And this is the really fun part, removing the harmonic balancer. And right now figuring out how to remove the oil seal, doing research and talking to friends that are mechanics. So yeah, it's been a lot of fun today. Just tearing everything apart. I would much rather be gardening or doing yard work or just playing with animals. <sighs> but you know, it's part of homesteading. You, you just do everything. For all the short people out there, you've got your car jacked up and you gotta, you know, reach down in there to get things taken off. There's a cinder block to stand on. The next day. The thing. I'm covered in cow poop. <laughs> and I got three calves! They're so cute! Hey guys, so we're on an exciting adventure today. We went to pick up two calves and he had a set of twins and a singleton. So we got all three. Whoops! So my daughter walks out of the bathroom and gasps and says, Mom, the toilet's smoking! So, of course, you know, I get up and I run in there. This is what I freaking found. Yeah, she she thinks she's clever. She has a bad habit of chasing four-wheelers and barking at them and freaking out. So we got a four-wheeler. He's having a grand old time following behind us. First we made him ride on it. not barking anymore. Sit or running in front of it. He's staying behind it. This is one way to get your dog some exercise. You want to ride now, Logan? You want to ride? ride? Come on, buddy. Come on. No. Nope. It said she wanted to go mudding. I don't think this is what she had in mind. And he's very, very tired. And very, very muddy. <laughs> you guys have seen my dog before and how, what size he looks, right? He's all floof! Look when he's wet. He's such a little dog. Look how little he is when he's wet. And he hates it. <laughs> Logan, where are you going? Your bath's not done. He wants to get back his floof. Today we received our order from Valley Vet Supplies. They were having a great sale. So $10 off a $75 order when you first sign up with them. So do that before you place your first order. And then they were also doing 10% off dehorning instruments. So we got a total savings of $17.70. And then we also got colostrum. So we have a goat that is little Anne is CAE positive, so we cannot give um, colostrum to her babies. So we had to get a colostrum supplement here. And this has three doses. We got three of them, so hopefully she doesn't have quads. And then we got the Reinhardt Electric Dehorner Model X30. Supposed to be good for calves and disbudding goats. And we have three calves that we need to do that to. And then after we get the goats, I want to say it was like a, between one and three weeks is when they're supposed to have that done. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go for the first time. Hi, pork chop. Hi, beefy. Mabel, come on. Dog is not gonna hurt you. Mabel! Mabel! Can you boop your snoot? Can you boop your snoot? Boop! Boop! Mabel, come here, 
here so I can go through snoot. Mabel, come here. Come here, Mabel. is still doing great. The twins are doing so much better. That treatment plan we did seems to have worked great. We did milk with apple cider vinegar in the morning and then in the early afternoon we did electrolytes which consisted of baking soda, corn syrup, and salt. And then late afternoon we did tea and then in the evening we did their milk with uh, apple cider vinegar. And they are doing great. They have great appetites. They're running and jumping and playing, following us around. Come to your new home. I think you're really going to like it here. Come on out. Oh, there's a runner. Enjoy your new home. We will love you and hold you and pet you. Chicky, chicky, chicky. Levi. <laughs>